What's up guys, it's Bolt, and I'm back with another Remnant 2 build guide. And in this video, we're going to go over my Endless Nightfall build. The build that's going to let you have the Nightfall mod Dreadwalker up indefinitely. This is definitely one of the strongest builds right now in terms of just survivability, damage, Everything is it's leech it has everything going for it. Nightfall is back in the S tier category. It was insanely overpowered on launch, got nerfed, took a took a hit to the tier, dropped it down a tier or two, and now it's back in S. And because of the sustain, you could just sustain this mod and not have to worry about ammo, and you have crazy life leech, and on top of that, you get the survivability with the shrouded effect that enemies will attack where you were instead of where you are, so you have everything going for it right right here, this weapon. Let's get into the build. First things first, we have the Hunter slotted in the primary archetype spot for the prime perk. That's right. So we want the Hunter's Focus skill up indefinitely. Hunter's Focus is going to help us get that damage, that weak spot damage, the crit, everything. Exactly what we need for a ranged build. Pairing it up with Gunslinger right here with the Bullet Storm skill. Now, Nightfall does lack the ability to shoot hitscan bullets. It shoots projectile-based, so... 
pullet storm is really going to help us with the firing rate and getting those projectiles out and increase our dps further now here is where where we're going to be able to sustain our mod indefinitely we have the new necklace magnifying glass which is amazing it's going to allow us to have our mods and our skills up for an extra 30 percent and on this build we have the dreadwalker up for uh 16 seconds we have hunter's focus which doesn't matter we're going to be hitting weak spots up for 40 seconds and we're gonna have bullet storm up for 32 seconds pretty damn long and it's that those two skills being up there for that long is really going to be a nice increase to our dps but because we're going to have our mod up longer this is going to allow the star of the show also right here leaking gemstones to generate that 20 percent mod generation while we're while the mod is active it's going to allow us to generate a, enough mod that once we exit out of dreadwalker we have it up immediately it's incredible and you don't have to worry about ammo you don't have to worry about reloading it's just constant sustained the damage and it's 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 just it's it's amazing uh as for the other trinkets are concerned it's just damage stuff uh this was the weird part now when i was testing the different trinkets in the range you know i used ring of flawed beauty i used zanin's malice i used stone of, stone of expanse and everything was just really really giving me similar results so it's crit is not as strong as it was if you have uh on automatic weapons especially if you have stuff like thousand cuts and momentum those are more than enough crit right there that if you start adding other stuff to it it gets like diminishing returns and the additive stuff sometimes even beats it um so you could actually use stuff like stone of expanse vestige of power uh, if, ring of infinite damage which is great for this build as well for the firing rate increase and you're all providing some pretty similar results I pushed the highest DPS with this loadout right here. Uh, it, you, you know, you can average around the highest I've got was about 6k DPS, which is pretty damn respectable, pretty good uh, compared to other builds. Uh, but the sustain was pretty nice. I was sustaining around 5400, 5500 around there uh, regularly with this setup. So we're going with a, a car warband. If you, you know, you don't want to use a car warband and you know you don't want to perfect rely on perfect dodging especially since it's going to be in dreadwalker and you may not be able to get you might not be able to get hit while you're in dreadwalker because you're just so elusive then you could sub this out for another ring like you know stone of expanse or the ring of infinite damage or something like that um but like i said this is what reliably gave me the best dps uh burden of the destroyer i know you're gonna say oh but the range penalty this and that we have the hunter archetype skill long shot which compensates for the burden that burden of the destroy gives us so it's not even really much of a burden at all and we're still getting the 15 percent damage which is also going to boost up our nano swarm as well probability quarter because we have momentum on the nightfall and we have the crit just all around from everything else so we're going to get a nice little boost of damage right there and of course linking gemstone we need this to sustain our mod indefinitely coupled with magnifying glass and also guys you're going to have to use the bottled shade berry and also a fairy needle if you guys do not want to use consumables i know there's a lot of players out there that refuse to use consumables then you're gonna have to replace one of these rings with uh Farin sigil or something like spirit stone you're gonna need another mod gen trinket but if you're using shade berry and a fairy needle then you're gonna be fine uh, you're gonna you, uh, with the potency trait you're only gonna have to pop the fairy needle before the fight because the last two minutes and you'll be able to sustain the mod indefinitely like like i said if you do not want to use consumables then you're going to need another mod gen trinket i do not recommend burden of the follower because that will hinder your dps with the firing rate penalty so fair and singel or spirit stone should be adequate enough to sustain the mod handgun nano uh nano swarm nebula for the nano swarm mod we want to use that it's just such a great mod because it provides the corroded effect without even me thinking about it and it's passive damage corroded effect is going to give us the 10 percent extra damage which, which is what we want uh, i don't even care about the dot or or the other stuff that's just bonus i just want the 10 percent extra damage we have feedback on there so we could get that right back quickly right once the mod is up it'll be up ready to go start the show nightfall dreadwalker insane mod we're gonna have this up the whole time we get li crazy life leech we get extra uh, extra firing rate and we don't have to worry about ammo it's incredible we have the momentum uh mutator on there for the crit chance and the crit damage thousand cuts for some whatever reason doesn't work on this weapon but even if it did i would use it anyway because we don't need the reload speed we're not reloading with this weapon we're gonna have dreadwalker out all, at all times so momentum it is as for the relic we have the profane heart insanely overpowered with the critical chance critical damage and the mod cost very important that you have that mod cost on there that is going to help us sustain this mod indefinitely and profane heart because it stacks with the nightfall life leech and we also have the leech and siphoner 
traits as well, which is going to give us some incredible lifesteal. I'm not going to have to worry about healing at all on this build. As far as the melee is concerned, I just went with my fashion. I went with the steel scythe with chakra on there. But you guys can use whatever you want. This is not a melee build, so f feel free to use whatever melee weapon you want. And as for the armor as well, use whatever you want. I felt like it looked cool with the Nightfall weapon. So I went with the uh, Dandy Topper and then the Zealots for everything else. I think it, the fashion on this is really cool. Looks good with the weapon, with the um, night, Nightfall and the Steel Scythe. But if you want to be more practical, you want to be actually smart about armor, then feel free to use a heavier armor set than what I do. I just... Like, like you guys see in all my videos, I just, I like fashion. I like looking cool. So that's what I went with. As for the trait breakdown, long shot ammo reserves are the respective archetype traits. Swiftness for that movement speed. Potency, so we can have our fairy needle up for the entire duration of the fight. Gifted, because we want the skills to be up as long as possible. Vigor, so we don't die in one hit. Spirit, because we need this. This is very important. We need that to sustain the mod. Footwork, because when you're in Dreadwalker, you can just strafe and move, and this is very important as well. When you strafe and move, the enemies are going to go to where you were, so if the faster you are, the less likely you are to get hit. So once you strafe and shoot, you're good. You don't even, As you saw in the Ravager fight, I didn't even have to fight the ads. I could just strafe, and they, they go to where I was. I never have to worry about them, so very important to have footwork on there. Chakra, to have our mods up longer. Leech and, and a few points into Siphoner for that lifesteal. And then I did not touch Endurance or Expertise. Not going to need that because the fights are usually over by then. So, pretty damn solid build. This is an S-tier weapon. I think it's up. Nightfall is back in the S-tier category along with Plasma Cutter and Regular Savior. Got to check out to see what other weapons are part of the S-tier category right now. But those are the current three that I have tested and have used. And those, are, in my opinion, are three some of the three best weapons in the game currently. And this build is very strong in terms of everything. Damage, survivability life life steal everything you, it has going for it so definitely a top build let me know what your guys thoughts are in the comment section below how do you feel about the new changes to nightfall how do you feel about the current meta really curious to hear everybody's thoughts if you found this video informative helpful or enjoyable please consider giving me a like sharing subscribing if you have not done so already and i'll catch everyone on the next one